let me begin with the, my today's session so in my original style in my signature what's up everyone this is rakesh here once again welcome to the session of oracle sql so in our last session what we have discussed we have discussed how to create the table so that is the thing which we have discussed in our last session and if you haven't watched my last video then please go and watch my last video and that i have explained how to create the table in the oracle database so that is the thing which we have discussed in our last session now what exactly we are going to discuss in this session so in this session we are going to pick one more uh, statement which is alter uh, the alter statement i can say that alter statement which we are going to see in this session okay guys so uh, what is alter alter means uh, alter means if you want to change the any uh, definition of an any table or i can say the of an object then use the alter operation now you can say that what it means i didn't get it so let me explain little bit more let's say for example if you want to change the column name or if you want to change the data type or if you want to modify the column or if you want to remove or if you want to add the column then we use the alter statement so that is the use of the alter statement okay guys so let me discuss what all the operation we can perform with the help of alter statement the very first statement or very first operation which is adding the column in the existing table let's say for example you have the existing table and if you want to add any particular column in the existing table then you have to alter the table or i can say that you have to add the table oh sorry column now next one which is your modify the column next one which is your uh, remove the column next one which is your rename the column so in short what all the operation we can perform the first one which is your add operation add the column modify the data type uh, rename the column and remove the column from a existing table so these are the four operation which we can perform on the a table with the help of alter statement and this alter statement is uh, applicable to all the object so that we will discuss later on okay guys so let's see practical example and before that let, uh, let me show you the syntax of the uh, all this operation so if you want to add the uh, column in existing table then this is the uh, syntax which you need to follow as you can see on the screen for modifying the column you have to use this statement or this syntax to remove the column from the existing table you have to follow this uh, syntax to rename the column you have to follow this syntax So guys, I hope you have understood and you have uh, well familiar with the uh, using the uh, alter statement. Now let's see the practical example of the alter statement uh, or I can say that let me show you in the SQL developer how to remove, how to add, how to modify column of a table. So let's see. So guys, as we have already discussed the theory part of the alter SQL statement, what exactly it is and what all the operation we can perform with the help of alter SQL statement. Now let me brief alter statement in one line. So alter statement is used to modify the definition of a table. Also we can perform the uh, uh, four operation which is your addition of new column in the existing table. Uh, re renaming the uh, uh, column in the existing uh, table and removing the column from the existing table and modifying the data type of a uh, column so that all the operation which we can perform so let me begin with the, my first operation which is adding new column into the existing table before that let me show you the definition of an uh, existing table where i want to add the uh, column so as you can see over here, uh, forget about this, this upper part, okay, although you can consider, uh, you can see over here only the four column. Now I want to add one more column which is your 
uh, employee underscore id okay so how can i add it so with the help of this sql statement i can add it okay so over here let's understand what is this so this is the keyword alter table and this is the table name where i want to add the column okay and this is the operation name what operation i want to perform and what column i want to add into the existing table which is nothing but my first table okay and what data type i want to give and what is the size of the data type so this is the statement which we need to execute in order to add the new column into existing table so let me execute so what i need to do i need to press the control enter so as you can see over here the table has been created and uh, yeah if you don't believe then let me show you uh, the definition of the table so as you can see over here uh, the fifth column has been added with the number data type okay now uh, let me modify the definition of uh, this table or let me um, modify this uh, data type from the number to where care because might be possible that in future I may require to modify correct so what I need to do I need to execute this SQL command so let me execute this SQL command and let's see before that let's uh, discuss this what exactly it is so what I need to do same thing alter table table name and then what operation you want to perform modify modify what which column employee id column and what you want to modify where care to from the number so guys from uh, once again i am repeating from over here you can see it is number it's a number now i want to make it as a where care to okay so how can i modify i can modify with the help of this okay so let me execute so as you can see over here the sql statement has completed successfully operation completed successfully so let me show you once again the definition of the table as you can see over here it was earlier number data type now it got changed from number to where care two as you can see over here and also modify you you can see that the uh, size also has been changed now let me rename the column okay so let me rename the column so this is the call this is the uh, this is the sql statement which we use to rename the column okay so let me rename like employee full full name i want okay i don't want okay sorry i'm sorry uh, this one mm, emp okay let it be okay so let's understand uh, this is alter table table name what operation you want to perform rename column again this is the keyword and which column you want to modify or you which column you want to rename sorry i'm not i'm sorry not modify correct correct word is not the modify rename is the correct uh, name over here the employee id column i want to rename uh work from emp underscore id to employee underscore id so this is the command which we need to execute so let me execute so as you can see over this operation also got successful now let me check whether it is the employee id emp underscore id has got changed or not so what i need to do i need to do the control enter now you can see over here employee id has been changed from the imp emp underscore id so what was earlier you can see over here this was emp underscore id now it got changed employee id okay great fantastic you are understanding now guys you are you are with me yes yes i hope you are with me okay so now this imp i now i want to drop this column okay so what i need to do i need to execute this command okay so i want to drop this uh, column so what i need to do i need to uh, once again uh, i'm repeating the sentence but bear with me guys okay so alter table table name and then what operation i need to perform drop okay and then column again and then uh, what column you want to drop so this is how you can drop it okay so let's drop this column 
yeah the this operation also got successful so let me check the definition whether it is actually got dropped or not okay so you can see over here that employee underscore id this column is not uh, here so this is how you you can drop the column and guys one more thing i would like to tell over here this is blue whatever you can see over here in the blue these are the keywords these are the predefined keywords uh, which is defined by the oracle okay so that's all from the practical point of view and i hope you have understood and guys if you like the video then please hit the like button share it and if you want to get the regular update on my channel then don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching for the video bye bye take care and guys what do you need to do you need to press this red button so press this one